I love this guy, and I'm not just saying because he's on hold hearing me introduce him <laughs> as uh, the all-pro Pro Bowl tight end of the San Francisco 49ers and one of the three, I guess, uh, emeritus professors of tight end university or deans of tight end university, I guess. Um, George Kittle joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, George? Rich. Thanks for the intro, man. I'm excited to be back. You know, just my favorite talk show. I appreciate you know. that. Just, just happy to be able to have a conversation with you today. It's I feel fine the morning. How are I you today? Feel the same way. What, what are, what are you, Travis Kelsey and 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 Greg Olson? Are you the deans of tight end university? What are you, the provosts? What do we call you? You know, George? I think we're just a part of it, man. And you know, we're we're all just tight ends trying to hang out and get better and learn from each other. You know, we might be the ones that are trying to orchestrate it, but at the end of the day, you know, we're just tight ends trying to hang out with other tight ends. June 23rd through 25th in the great city of Nashville, Tennessee, right? If I get that you know right? right. That's it. Oh, yeah. please. I mean, it was I know that's where you spend uh, your off-season time, right, George? You you got a spot in Nashville? It is. Uh okay. yeah, I moved to Nashville right after my rookie year. Just kind of fell in love with it and uh Bought some nice uh, acreage, you know, outside of Nashville last year, and uh, just been a huge fan of it. And uh, you know, what a better place to hang out with, uh, you know, a bunch of tight ends than Nashville, Tennessee. Got plenty to do down there, from football to uh, you know, being able to hang out. So it's it's going to be a good time down there. I, you know, we uh, we're excited about it. I love it. Why why, why do it? Where'd this come from? All George? right. So really, for me, is you know, I think that all tight ends, you know. I think we should all be friends because, you know, it's 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 one position on a football field. You know, sometimes two, you got sometimes three on, you know, goal line stuff, but usually it's usually one guy out there and it's the only guy that takes the snaps. And I feel like, you know, out of the thirty two teams, whether they have two or three guys active, like I feel like the tight ends need to hang out more and need to learn from each other more. And so I saw the D line has a summit, uh, the O line does a summit where they all come together, they all learn from each other. And I was like, why? I don't, there's a holiday. Why isn't there a tight end summit where we can all come together and learn from each other? Because, you know, in my opinion, the, the tight end position is incredibly difficult because you have to run routes, you have to catch passes, you have to block defensive ends, you have to insert on linebackers, you have to pass pro defensive ends. Like, you kind of have to do everything. Um, and so why not have, uh, you know, a little time where we can all come together and, you know, learn from the best of the best and, you know, just learn from tight ends all over the country. And so I'm excited that, you know, we kind of got the ball rolling on it. Um, you know, had to get, you know, Kelsey involved, had to get, you know, Greg Olson involved. And, you know, they've been incredibly helpful and you know, just throwing ideas around. But, you know, we're really, really excited about, you know, getting the first one, you know, down this summer. And uh, when, you know, people might be confused, they shouldn't be, but let's 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 give them uh, less confusion. When you refer to, George Kittle, a national holiday, you're referring mm-hmm. to National Tight Ends Day that happens once a year, every year during the football season, correct? That's well, what you're I mean, referring for to? for me it's every day, but yeah, for other people I guess it's just once a year. <laughs> <laughs> My children always say that on Mother's Day or Father's Day. What about Children's Day? I'm like, every day is Children's Day. Are you kidding it is. me? Every day is Children's <laughs> you know, Day. Every day is National Tight End Day, though, but, you know, like, Rich, we're really excited about it, too, and we really wanted to, uh, you know, put on a really good event for everybody, so we got involved with some sponsors that were allowing us to really make this, like, a nice ordeal, really take care of guys, you know, put them up, um, take care of them, have some fun while we're down, you know, in Nashville, and, you know, from, you know, Bud Light to Charmin, Levi's, like, we got these, like, companies coming in to step up that are, you know, they're donated for Tight and You, but at the end of the day, it's also fun because we're going to donate them. Basically, every every amount of money that we don't spend on basically hotel rooms for the tight ends is going to uh, charities. And, Love it. Um, and Bridgestone is a huge part of that as well. And so the fact that you know we can raise money for charity and I can get you know tight ends to come down to Nashville and we can learn from each other, it's it's pretty awesome. Because you know, at the start of the day, we we banked on like, hey, maybe we can get like fifteen to twenty guys, and we have over forty guys that have RSVP'd and. It's uh, way more than what we thought we were going to get, and I'm just really excited about it because you know I have an opportunity to learn from 40 other guys of, about the tight end position. So that's that's uh, 40. That's a lot of that's a lot of toilet paper. That's a lot of Charmin. Uh, it is a lot of Charmin, isn't it? A lot of tight ends. Yeah, yeah. That, is that is that the connection here for Charmin and tight ends? George, you know, I'm going to let I'm going to let Charmin make that connection. I just wrong. I just don't know if you if the <laughs> the agenda goes from front to back or back to front. Oh, you know, wow. I just don't. You know what I mean. George. You went there, Rich. I, you know, know what? Rich went there, not me. <laughs> and I should be I should be the more studious one. That is correct. But, you know, okay, George. Um, so let's uh, let's get into the 40. Uh, is it true one of the 40 that's coming is Tim Tebow? Did Tim get the invite to your no, event? Um, I'm not sure if he's gotten the invite. Um, it's like I said, we, we banked on getting 20 guys, Rich, yep. and we've had 40 that have RSVP'd. And so 
Um, and like I said, we're working with sponsors so we can pay for guys to come in right. and take care of everybody. And so we're working on a numbers thing. Like I said, we're about 20 over what we thought we were going to get. So it's more of a we're trying to figure out how we can include everybody. And the fact that this is year one, um, I, we're going to do what we can with the guys that we have. But, you know, hopefully in the next coming years that, you know, the tight end summit keeps happening, right. that we can make it open to the entire NFL because, you know, it hurts me to not be able to invite, you know, every single tight end that's on an NFL roster, even guys that aren't on rosters, because you know, I think you have, an, you have an opportunity to learn from every single person that, you know, is invited. And so we're working on it. We're trying, like, like I said, we're trying to get everybody to be able to come in the coming years and, um, we're almost there. Uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I guess I gotta get Tim's number, give him a call, but you know, Hey, Grant called back about it. So I'm excited that he might be in it. Um, yeah. because I, I would love to sit in a room and, you know, watch some with that guy. Well, OJ Howard is, is coming from, from, from the Buccaneers as well. I mean, just, it's a heck of a list that you've got going on right here. Um, George Kittle. So, uh, do you need somebody to, Film maybe a welcome video or something, or is there? Oh wow, Rich, you, you know? offering you know to set up a hey, yeah. welcome to the tight end summit. This is what you're going to learn today. Yes. Ooh, yeah. you know that's not a bad idea. You can, can just text me on the side about that, so we don't you know give all away our tips and all of our information to um, all of the listeners out there. I'd be more than happy to do that, George. Like to give like set the agenda for the day or something like that, or you know if there's a a word of the day or, or something like <laughs> oh. I, I, we can workshop this thing. I'd be more than happy to be part of this. You know, um, yeah, you know, like I, you know, I came up to Indianapolis, and I think you can come down to Nashville. I think I could show you a good time down there, Rich. Well, you know, I'm, I, I, ha- I live all the way out here uh, in Los Angeles, George. And on top of it, the middle day of national of the tight ends university is my birthday. I turned fifty two in the middle of all that. What George. a better place to celebrate than Nashville, Tennessee? <laughs> now you're talking, George. <laughs> yeah. Now you're talking. Let's go. I don't know. Is there anything to do there? No, I don't know. Broadway, there's no, nothing no, on Broadway no, there. there. There's nothing to do there. Broadway is empty. Is there anything to eat there? I don't know. Like good mm, restaurants? I don't know. Even drink. I've got a couple places. <laughs> could be interesting. I couldn't imagine a better group of people that I'd want to spend my oh birthday my with. Gosh. You mean uh, us, right? No, I don't. <laughs> the NFL tight end? Yes, yeah, I don't. Course. I honestly don't know of a better group. Maybe, you know, maybe a group of offensive linemen, but... We're pretty close. Well, I mean, seriously. I mean, you're practically you practically on the line. Well, you are on the line. I mean, thank you. I was course. just gonna let you say it. I didn't. No, know. I mean, you're you're right there anyway. Okay. All right. Well, we'll workshop that thing. Uh, I've got I like uh, George. I appreciate that. You, of course, I've got George Kittle here on the Rich Eisen show. Another one of the tight ends at Tight End University is your buddy Big Bobby Tanyan. Mm. He'll be there as well, I told right? You about him. Yeah, I know you. By the way, when you referred to being in Indianapolis at my run in 2020, this is before last year. You brought him, and you're like, watch out for this guy, is what you said to me before that season where he just went off the charts. In I said, Bay. watch out. You did. You did. People are going to learn at some point, man. Okay. Is he nervous about who's throwing the ball to him <laughs> this summer? This fall? <laughs> you know what the great thing about being a tight end is? All you have to do is focus on your job because there's just so much going on with every single play. That's you right. Know, I, bet you it, I bet you it's helpful when he has Aaron Rodgers throwing him the ball, but – and at the end of the day, tight ends, you know, we're gritty and we just get down in the mud and, you know, he's going to enjoy playing in the cold and he's just going to catch footballs and he's probably going to have more touchdowns again next year. Well, I guess you should speak for yourself rather than your friend um, put exactly. you in that position. So let me get let me get to that. First things first, uh, George Kittle, not only am I always thrilled to talk to you, um, but also talk to you about your tight end university, which is important to you, but also to just make sure that you are alive um, on a Sunday. <laughs> and I'm assuming now that you're alive on a Wednesday based on what, uh, you know, is the general, I guess, uh, 49er way of looking at things, right? Yeah. George, you're well, alive? It, uh, I am, unless this is a recording, but no one will know that. <laughs> uh, you know, it was fun. I got a text, Kyle, on Sunday, and I said, I'm still here. And... <laughs> you were one of the people who texted him that Sunday, huh? That you're still... Oh, he... Hey, Rich, you think I'm going to let that one go? No <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over that. I mean, normally you're, you're, you know, a coach will say, I can't even tell you what the weather is. You know, I actually got that from Arthur Smith of the Falcons when I asked him about Julio Jones about a month ago. And that's before all the craziness that's gone on. Right. Oh, by the way, you're on live TV right now. I just should just let you know. That. <laughs> I have, you know what? Yeah. This isn't a recording. That's crazy. It's not a recording. And we're not, you know, that we're, we're other people are hearing what we're saying right now. Um, but oh. so I, 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 I'll just come through the, the front door here and uh, ask you about, you know, uh, Trey Lance and Jimmy G and how you see that all playing out. It seems like everything is pretty cool for, for, for now, if not for the foreseeable future, George. You, know, you want to know something crazy about the draft, Rich? Please. So I'm taking off on a plane to go uh, to my bachelor party. 
in uh, Scottsdale. And during the draft, my flight took off on the um, – it took off as the third pick was announced. Oh, my God. And so I didn't see it until I could connect the Wi-Fi about 30 minutes later. <laughs> so literally it goes, the pick is in. And then it all cut out, and I sat there for 30 minutes like, all right, this is uh, – I'm sweating. I don't know what's going on. Did we pick? This is stressful. I can't call anybody. But uh, then, yeah, then it, I finally connected the Wi-Fi after, you know, it gets to the 10,000 feet. And yep. I was like, all right, sick. Cool. This is going to be fun. But it was uh, – yeah, Trey Bebe, but that was uh, that was a stressful thirty minutes for me. I bet so. Uh, I bet so. So um, we we had, uh, as you refer to him, Trey Bebe on the show uh, two days before the 49ers took him. I could not have been more engaged and impressed by him and how you know uh, normal and um, professional he was. Like he nailed the bullet point, the copy points of the sponsor that hired him to do the tour that brought him to this show. Like I love it. it, it, Seriously, in a way that I've had veterans on and I would have to read the copy points for them because I try to be a professional and help them out. He, I mean, he nailed it. He nailed everything and couldn't have been funnier and more engaging. Rich, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure I, I think you tweeted something about that, about how good he was. And I was like, ah, that's cool. Good for him. Like that's a, you know, it's also crazy that the fact that you just turned 21 just is kind of mind boggling. It is. No doubt about it. So have you have you been on a practice field with him yet, or that has yet to occur? Oh, yeah. George? No, I uh, I got back for the last week of Phase 2 for OTAs last week, and, you know, I got to be on a field with him, catching passes from him. He's got a cannon. Um, you know, it's just fun, you know. Like I said it yesterday, you know, he looks better than a rookie quarterback, which is fun, you know. His, uh, I will say this, like on his, his, yeah, our first live day going against the defense on Monday, hit a nice rollout, a deep pass to uh, my rookie tight end, Josh Peterson, and, uh, it's, you know, it's not a throw that gets made a lot, you know, and the fact that he did on his first rollout was pretty funny. And the fact that he completed for a touchdown was pretty cool. So then just, uh, I'll just ask you just straight out, uh, you know, cause I, I understand that if you're heard to be complimenting Trey, that could be viewed by some as that that's what you prefer. And obviously you are just, uh, on a team where the coach is going to make the decision. Uh, how, how are you in between, you know, with, obviously a choice at the position who's going to have to play as soon as possible based on 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 many circumstances that are out of your control, George Kittle, and also a guy who went to the Super Bowl with, who you like genuinely. So uh, what can you tell I mean, me about that? Rich, at the end of the day, they're both my teammates. So, you know, I'm going to be both of their biggest tight men. Um, you know, the great thing about football is the competition, and that competition is what breeds greatness, and that's what you know makes you a better football player. So, you know, if, you, if either one of my QBs or, you know, we have five QBs on the roster right now, if any of the five shy away from competition and they don't really deserve to be on a football field. And so I'm excited about the competition in the room. I'm excited about the competition all over our team because I think we're pretty deep in some areas. And so, you know, yeah, like I said, like, I'm going to hype up both, you know, every single one of my teammates. And if they get offended by me hyping up my teammates, ah, there's something else that's going on there. How did Bosa look? How is he looking right now? Because, I mean, you, you want to talk about a bounce back year, if you will, you were hurt for much of it last year. He was hurt for damn near all of it. The team just took one, you know, uh, hit after another, including not having a home, essentially, for a month. <laughs> I mean, so you've got to be kind of fired up. Tell me how everybody looks and feels going into the summer prior to what could be a, a, a monster return for you in the deepest end of the NFL pool this division. George? Uh... Yeah, we got evicted. That's like you put it really nicely. We got we got kicked out. That was crazy. But you know, we uh, you know it was, it was definitely interesting moving to Arizona for uh, six weeks. You know, it was definitely different, but same time it was fun. Um, it would have been more fun if I could have played in every single game. But right, yeah, you know, we did take a lot of hits. But um, the fact that you know our team went through all of that stuff and we signed, I couldn't tell you how many like free agent people we brought in just to be able to field a team. Um, and just have new faces in and out of the building. But the fact that we were still able to like, keep our culture and you know, still be positive, even though we were living in Arizona, we're not playing out our home stadium and half of our team was hurt. The fact that our, you know, our coaches kept it together and our, the guys that were still there playing kept it together, I was you know, very impressed and it just says a lot about the team. And you know, the, the fact that we are getting everybody back is it's very exciting. Um, I think I've said this about 100 times. I still think Nick Bose is like the second best NFL player behind Aaron Donald. And I think uh, – 
he's going to come back with a vengeance, and I'm very excited about that because uh, he's a very talented football player, and he uh, definitely makes that defense gear up at a whole extra notch. George, I appreciate the call. I do miss uh, chatting with you. Um, send my best to Greg Olson. I saw what he tweeted out about his son, yeah. um, and and uh, I know that they um, they are just such great humans, and uh, I love that guy. I'll do anything to help you out with this tight end university. Seriously, um, I appreciate that, Rich. Uh, no, yeah, and I never met uh, I've never met Greg's kids, but I know uh, I've heard nothing but incredible things about TJ, and you know, we're all you know supporting him and sending him every single positive vibe and all the good energy that we can for you know that to be uh as successful as it can be so we're just praying for him and uh but you know greg's been an actual an absolute champ too um the amount of work that he's put into this when he has every right to completely not talk about it or talk to us but he's been incredible so nothing but all good things for them exactly right but seriously i'll do a video Uh, i've i've done many of them in my career uh george you have. Um, I haven't really seen anything. I might have to get some tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a few links. I'll send you a couple oh. YouTube links, okay? Yeah, hit, no, send me your huddle link, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, but I also could, like, it's up to you. Like, if you want me to roast the room and work wow. blue, and if you think it y- y- that works for you, I'll do that. I've done that for fantasy leagues of people. I've done, I've done lots of stuff. So I, I'll go anywhere you'd like for this. You, I you want to be part gonna, of it. I'm gonna. I'll see. I'll see Travis uh, next oh, weekend. Oh yes. And uh, you know we'll go over some of the things that maybe you can do for us. I'd know, love now it. that you're offering all your services. I am the whole the whole scope of services. Um, wow. But I'll leave it's the like curr- a charcuterie board. That's it. That's exactly. <laughs> I'll just leave the uh, the curriculum up to you though. That's your choice. Okay. Wow. You know what to do. I'm excited about this. Maybe do some rich eyes and trivia. We'll we'll figure it out. I love it, George. You take care. Best to your dad. Best to the whole Kittle team. Appreciate the oh, call. I appreciate that, Rich. He's probably listening right now. He probably says hi. Fantastic. Probably. What the hell? Probably. You okay. never know, man. You <laughs> never know, Bruce. <laughs> Take care of yourself, George. Yeah. You're the best, man. See you guys. You guys. George right, Kittle, George, everybody. George. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.